So I get a lot of questions about this Sunshield elastomeric roof coating product I put on the roofs of all my reefer trailers and I still get a good bit of questions so I just want to do this one review one year review follow-up video on this product and answer some of those questions and see if I still like it. Well the short answer to that is yes. It's become one of those products that is an automatic thing that I do anytime I buy a piece of equipment. So anytime I buy a trailer now that product automatically goes on the roof. The only thing I might do differently is I might start putting it on a little thicker to see if I get increased benefit. So right now I use a one five gallon bucket per roof, per trailer. And that is just short of the recommendation from the manufacturer of how much to put on, the, the, how many square feet it covers. So <clears throat> I might start doing a little more, see if there's an in increased benefit. I suspect there probably would be, but I still get a really good benefit from, from one bucket. Now, so there's that. Now the second question is, is it holding up? Is it still there? Is it, is it adhering to the roof? Well, overall, yes. The answer is yes. Uh, it's like any other, it's not a paint, but it's like any other paint or application type product. It's all in the preparation of the surface. So the ones that I did a good job prepping the surface on, yes, it's, it's adhered well. I have one trailer where there's a few spots where it kind of peeled up and flaked some. Uh, and that trailer, uh, it's, it's on me. I didn't do the preparation probably as good as I should have so that's on me you know going forward we'll do a better job I'd really like the pressure wash up there but that's kind of a you know I don't have a water source and it's just a elaborate process so I just use more degreaser maybe mop it you know scrub it a few more times and rinse it so yeah it's, it holds up pretty well now in relation to that something I did because I wanted to see you know watch regularly how it holds up I did a little test section of this trailer here this is my extra trailer this is this is my oldest trailer this is the one that I pull so it's not like it's on the road all the time and I'm not afraid to experiment on this trailer so I did a little test section here because I got a question of hey how does it does it stay white does it get dingy how does it look and you know up on the roof what am I gonna go up on the roof once a month and look no, so I did a little test section on the side of the trailer here, and I'll show that to you right now. All right, <laughs> there's my test section. As you can see, yes, it does get dingy, but thankfully, it's meant to be on the roof. Nobody's going to see it up there. So it, it does, I mean, I tried to, uh, the reason I put it back here is I thought maybe that line from that foil would just kind of disguise it just a little bit, but obviously it's a very big difference. You can wash the trailer. It doesn't really look any better than that. I thought my thinking was, hey, if this stays looking nice and blah, 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 I'll do the whole trailer. You know, it would make keeping an older trailer longer more cost effective. But I don't want my trailers looking like that. Now, you'd say, well, just paint over it. You're going to lose the properties of the product. So that's something that you want to not want to do. I, can, I, might, I might sand it down, smooth it out a little bit. But like I said, this is my my extra trailer so I, I don't much care I mean it's not like I'm looking all ragtag going down the road it just looks like well yeah it looks a little ragtag but whatever sometimes that happens I did uh, this side and then I did a little bit on the other side here just to uh, you know curbside and roadside whatever make a match and that's how it looks so yes it, it will get dingy it will look dirty and it's probably not something you'd want to do your whole trailer in uh, one downside is the only place I've seen this product you could get it direct from the manufacturer otherwise homedepot.com is the only place I've seen it for sale I'm gonna put a link in the actual video here a clickable link uh, that'll go right to the product if you are interested in buying it uh, like I said I don't see any other place to get it than homedepot.com so it would be nice if they would carry it in store or you know somewhere else a little bit more accessible I like it drivers say they do notice a difference in this hot summer heat still of you know the effect it has on on cooling and keeping the trailers cool so overall really happy with the product continue to use it like I said every every trailer I buy is gonna get it it makes keeping an older trailer a little bit longer a little bit more cost-effective and as well as we've started to run some bulkheads in some of our reefer trailers because we do a lot of frozen frozen food 
and in this hot summer heat man that bulkhead just just makes a, a world of difference uh, it can be a little bit of a pain you know moving it in and out and making sure nobody wrecks it and you don't lose it somebody keeps it on their dock or something but between the the roof paint and the bulkheads I'm not afraid to run a trailer a little bit longer you know as long as mechanically in good shape um, so yeah that's my one year review of the Sunshield elastomeric roof coating if you like videos like this make sure you hit the thumbs up button like and subscribe we'll see you next time